Hello everyone. Let's welcome again into the interview series. So today in this uh, video, we will uh, try to discuss about the interview process of the known company that is a to the new. So this company has a good market reputation into the industry. And this is started on 2008. And you know that in 2009, there is a so much recession came. So somehow it is managed and now he is into the good roadmap also. So I will try to cover uh, the things here like uh, they are basically dealing into the latest technology that uh, cloud based and all and uh, they have a very good list of uh, customer that is uh, come under the fortune 500 company or the Silicon Valley things. So that is a very good about to start the career. Let's start with the interview process for this one. So here I will try to cover the interview process with dotnet with the angular we'll cover here c sharp dotnet core sql and the puzzle so these are the four step they go through one by one so let's start with the c sharp first so in the c sharp they started with the where and dynamic so you need to mention like where is give the compile time behavior and dynamic is giving the runtime behavior and put some of the valid example here after that static and singleton so the static you need to explain like what is the benefit of the static and the singleton like uh, create the single instant to serve all the request and all and uh, yeah so the things you need to explain here a little bit more the other one is shield class so shield class uh, we need to explain like because of that uh, we know we are restricted to inherit that particular class further any inbuilt class which can't be inherited so there we need to mention the shield class again or the static class you can also mention because the static class internally using the shield one the next one is the shallow and the deep copy so here you need to explain the both the things like uh, reference type and the value type both the things you need to mention here to give the or putting the more impression the next one is authentication and authorization difference because you should give the one liner things here like authentication to identifying the user and authorization like after identification like what type of uh, access based on the role we are providing into the application the next one is the dotnet core so in the dotnet core again the same question how to enable the course and the policy you need to learn or read or do the practical about this core one and uh, other one is the castle server so the castle server that is a very well known uh, castle server into the dotnet core because that is the cross uh, it providing the like uh, platform independent things like cross platform things to work on our uh, app code because previously you know that our dotnet code is working only onto the window machines and all now because the castle server it is compatible with the all type of uh, server or you can say it is internally using the ng index and all so you need to read about more about this server and all how it is helping us to achieve this cross platform and all the thing is how di work into the core so the di you need to explain the all the three type of uh, di way like scope wise so there you can see like uh, we need to add the transient scope and the singleton so whenever you are doing like this one so here you are giving the relation like uh, uh, how the interface uh, which interface in uh, implemented by which class so by this you can directly access this thing into the constructor side of the controller and access this one so it's a it's a one of the design pattern you can say is the da so that is uh, inbuilt provided by the dotnet core other one is the database so in the database they ask me about how to get the many to many relationship so you need to give the explanation or create the some structure there for this one the other one is show the result in the below order so we have the four uh, column and the value are the random here so we need to give the value like this one like uh, in the order of this one like it will be the club with the values if this one is a repeated if the non repeated the single value is no need to take it so there you need to write the query so here i will give the one suggestion like you always be prepare the query with the group by having and all so this this will resolve our so many problem the puzzle side they ask me like uh, there is a 
two sand timer so what which have the one have the four minute and the second one is seven minute so you need to calculate the nine minute so you need to make the any of the combination there to achieve this nine minute so you need to think about this one and put it into the chat box thank you so much thank you for uh, listening the video i hope this these question will help you in the future and the current also so thank you so much again